right welcome back on this episode we are going to learn about what is the actual use of macros in C programming so on the previous part of this tutorial we already learned about what you mean by macros and what, what you mean by macro expansion so in this episode we are going to learn about what is the actual use of a macro in a C program so you can use the macros to define particular operators in C program so here I'm going to define two operators using macro so hash define and here and is the macro template and the macro expansion is the operator and operator also I define another macro here hash define or and put the or operator as macro expansion so this is possible you can uh, define operator using macros so in this program on main method I am going to declare two variables int a and b and initialize variable a with value 1 and initialize variable b with value 0 so here I am going to use the operator and and or in an if loop but instead of using direct instead of using that operator directly here I am going to use the micro template so if the value of a greater than 0 instead of and operator here I using the micro template and value of b is equal to 0 then it will show a message printf greetings ok so here I add one more if loop if the value of a greater than 0 and instead of using the or operator directly here I using the micro template or the value of b greater than 0 again we print the message here greetings ok I save the program now we can check it compile it there is no errors I run it so we got two greeting messages we got two greetings that means the two if loops are working fine ok so that is the use of uh, micros you can use micros to define operator in C program and the second use of macro is you can uh, you can replace an entire condition using macro so here I define two micros as define I name the micro template as con1 condition1 and here is the micro expansion here I am going to replace an entire condition with the micro template so here is the first condition if value of a greater than 0 and value of b equal to 0 that is the first uh, macro that is the first macro called con1 and here I define another macro con2 and here is the expansion the value of a greater than 0 or value of b greater than 0 so instead of using the condition here here I am going to use that macro template here the condition 1 con1 and here instead of using this condition I use the micro template con2 ok save the program now compile it and finally run it ok again we got two greeting messages ok that is the second use of micro in C program so you can uh, replace an enter condition in a C program using macros and the third use of micro in C program is you can uh, replace an enter C statement using macro so here I am going to replace an entire C statement using a macro hash define greetings and I replace this entire printf statement with this micro
Okay. This is the macro expansion. It's a complete C programming statement. This is a statement because here we need to put a semicolon here. But in normal micro definition, there is no there is no need to put any semicolon. This is uh, this is a C programming statement. That's why I put a semicolon here. So in this case, we replace the entire C statement using a micro template. So instead of using print of here, I can use that micro template. So greetings. Here again, I can use that micro template. So here, there is no need of put, there is no need of putting any semicolon here because these are micro templates. So I save the program, compile it. There is no error. Now I'm going to execute it. Again, we got two greeting messages. This is the uh, use of micros in a C program. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.